Hello everyone, Lawrence here from Unicorn Reviews and I just finished my video on the Silverstone RL07 and in that video I learned a lot both about how horrible the cooling is in that case but also on how to fix certain issues. So as it says in the title up there we're going to lower VRM temperatures by over 10 degrees Celsius in this video with just stuff that you have laying around. Now before so many of us started using all-in-one liquid coolers we had tower coolers or top flow coolers and they were awesome and still are awesome by the way because they provide a lot of airflow over the motherboard over the VRM heat sinks. Now with liquid coolers we get all that heat from our CPU away to the front or the top of the case but there's nothing really cooling the VRMs anymore. So that's what we're going to address in this video. All you need is basically an L bracket. So you can get these long ones with slots in them and then you can use these slots to position the fans. So obviously you also need a fan. I'm going to use Silent Wings 2 fans because I have an entire shelf of these and I absolutely love these fans. Then you're also going to need about four of these uh, little fan screws and you can, you know, paint the L brackets and cut them to the length you need. Uh, or you can just buy the correct ones and paint them like I did right here. Alright, so I already did one over here. All you need is of course the bracket and a little fan screw and then you can just screw it into the fan mounts on here. So the next step, pretty simple, just take this assembly and put it on top of your rear fan. With Be Quiet fans which have these really weird mounting mechanisms, it's not that easy but with a lot of other fans this is like the easiest thing ever. Alright, and now all we have to do is screw the entire thing in place. Right, there we go. That's how easy it is. This now spins completely freely. You can see it can wobble all around a little bit, but that's okay. There's not a lot of vibration with these um, higher end fans that I'm using. And then the next step is to simply plug it into our motherboard, or if you have an external fan controller, plug it into your fan controller. So there we go. We now have top airflow moving over our VRM area. Also our memory is going to get cooled a little bit better than without this fan here in place. It doesn't do a whole lot but it spins and it moves air and that's better than nothing. Even with the side panel window on here because the L bracket indents it a little bit as you can see there is still plenty of air able to move through the fan and onto our VRMs. So as you can see in these screenshots I went from 105 to just in the 90s on our VRM temperatures. CPU temperatures weren't affected at all really, but our VRMs are now a lot cooler and I guess that's important for longevity and also for the quality of the electricity going into our CPU and hopefully this will give us better overclocking if we really start pushing our chips. But for now, getting that 11 degree Celsius VRM temperature drop is also really important. Anyway guys, if you like this video, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, or if it's over there, I can't quite remember, uh, and then you'll get a free video every week, or two a week even lately. If that's not enough though, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter for more frequent updates. And if you want to support this channel, get me better equipment, there is a Patreon link also in the description below. But for now, massive thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.